on the line. We're calling New York to uh, preview Guitar Jam, which includes everything from uh, Rodrigo's Concierto de Ronquist to Bach and Berrios. And Friday night, August 2nd, is an important night. It's about a week from today. And on the line with me tonight is Sharon Isman, the Artistic Director of Guitar Fest at Ordway Theatre, St. Paul, Minnesota. Good evening, Sharon. How are you? Good evening. I'm just fine. What does uh, Larry Coriel, Lorinda Almeida, and Sharon Isbin, what do they have in common? The one main thing we have in common is we all play the guitar. We do it very differently, and it's been exciting in the year that we've been together as a trio to come together in some harmonious units. We play music from Brazil, which Lorinda Almeida has arranged, and we play some jazz music, which Larry Coriel has written expressly for the trio. We also do Spanish music, and one of the most unusual pieces on the program will be the famous adagio from the Concierto de Aranjuez by Rodrigo. And it's not your normal rendition, however. As you know, this, this piece has been arranged for many different combinations. From Miles Davis to uh, Jim Hall. That's right, and it's really one of the gems of music. It's a, a rare spirit, that piece, and... It captures the, the folk element, the heritage of Spain, in an exquisite way. So what Lorindo has done is set the orchestra part to two of the guitars, and then I take the, the solo part. And when we get to the end, there's a big surprise because it launches into a bossa nova improv section where Larry is wailing away on the electric guitar and Lorindo is playing bossa nova chords, and I'm doing a, a bass line. And it's quite fascinating. Sharon, it sounds exciting and stimulating, and when I think about uh, the adagio theme from the Concerto by Rodrigo to uh, what you might be doing with Lorinda Almeida on a Brazilian theme that might remind us of the Rio Carnival to uh, Larry Coriel and jazz, it sounds truly stimulating. For you, uh, what's the satisfaction? Well, for me, it's opened up a whole new world. It's new audiences, new music and a, a collaboration that is quite different from anything I've experienced before. As classical musicians, we're trained to stick to the notes and to rehearse in a particular kind of way, and everything is more planned out. This is a much more spontaneous kind of creation because you never know what's going to happen next, really. Uh, much of the work, particularly, that Larry is doing is improvised, even though it's set to a basic theme and a basic concept. Uh, I'm able to do my technique, my style of playing, and yet we achieve a blend and a unity. So I've learned to loosen up a bit and experience that the wonderful scintillating qualities of Brazilian rhythm, which I really find so, so fascinating. Do you ever uh, find, as they say in some quarters, that you paint yourselves into a corner and hope that you can get out? Well, I think... That might be more of a danger in a, a strictly jazz world or, or type of playing. What we've done does have a very clear plan to it. I'm reading music, and because there is that solid foundation, it's pretty hard to get, to get off that. You'd have to really uh, space out for a moment or something. But uh, there's definitely a coherent plan to what we're doing. Well, that uh, Friday night sounds like something so special, and we welcome you in. But before you go, Saturday is important, too, the 3rd of August, uh, where the headline is Bach to Berrios, and you are sharing the stage with another excellent artist. I've asked Carlos Barbosa Lima, who is a marvelous guitarist from Brazil, to join me in the second half of my program. We're going to be doing four duets by the Brazilian film composer Antonio Carlos Jobim. Carlos and I both worked with Jobim, and Carlos has made these arrangements in collaboration with the composer. And there's lovely music. Some of it you might be familiar with. The, one of the pieces, A Felicidade, is from the film Black Orpheus, so it's a very popular song. And the whole concert reflects my philosophy about programming and about the instrument that I play, that it is so versatile and that it's wonderful to be able to to celebrate that and to expose people to all different kinds of music. So I've got 
contemporary music, I have Cuban music, I have a Bach lute suite, I have Paraguayan music, a Brazilian, and all of this is on the same evening. So I think it's a lot uh, to enjoy for many different kinds of people. And there's an extra added bonus on Sunday, August 4th, when uh, there's a Brazilian encounter uniting Charlie Bird and his trio with Carlos Barbosa Lima, too, isn't there? That's right, and Charlie Bird, like Lorinda Almeida, has been known for years to be one of the early pioneers of Bossa Nova, and he's a marvelous jazz musician. So he's coming with his trio from Washington, D.C., and he and Carlos have collaborated before. They'll each do solos as well as uh, duets together with a trio. Uh, Carlos has uh, devoted a lot of time the last couple of years towards making arrangements of music from Gershwin, called Porter, Bonfa, and it's it's quite special because it uses the classical technique, but yet captures the the folk element and the, the freedom of this music that is so so popular and so special. And earlier that day, that concert will take place at eight o'clock in the large hall. Earlier at five o'clock will be a performance of the trio Alhambra which, though is not a jazz group, has many elements in common with that. And one of those elements, of course, is improvisation, which is so key to the, the jazz world. It provides that freshness. The, uh, one of the featured artists in the trio is, is George Mercadichin, who is one of the world's finest oud players. Now, what is an oud, you must ask? Yes, what is an oud? An oud, an oud is a Persian lute. So it goes back centuries. And it's played with a, ple- a plectrum, like you would use a pick for an electric guitar. It has no frets, so that you have everything from quarter tones and half tones, different kinds of tuning systems, and much of the music is improvised. They call them taksim, which is the uh, Mediterranean word for improvisation. So that this is music of Sephardic Spain in the Mediterranean some of it dating back as early as the 15th century. But to me, it's as exciting and uh, has a lot of elements in common with with jazz. Sharon Isman, I I think we're going to gorge ourselves from uh, August 2nd through the 4th on the world of the guitar and its uh, international import. I want to thank you for sitting in with us tonight by way of New York City. Thank you very much. Pleasure talking with you. You too.